I've come to make an announcement. For far too long, these so-called shorts creators have been poisoning the minds of a generation with this meaningless slop. These hooligans need to be stopped by any means necessary. And that's where we come in. This is a message to all shorts YouTubers. You have one week to cease operations. Pack your things. Quit. We hold the key. And if you do not comply with our request, you will simply be... <laughs> Replaced. This is your final warning. Have you ever had a moment that was so perfect that it could never possibly be replicated ever again? I have a couple, but the best by far happened about eight years ago back in middle school. I'm sitting in the living room with one of my friends playing Halo Reach. We're 1v1ing each other, peak couch gaming time. In the room next to us, the TV is on and it's decently loud. So we're playing, I'm winning because I'm built like that. And my friend calls out my galaxy brain strategy of uh, Camping. So I say, I'm gonna wait right here for you. And immediately the TV in the background just says, stop waiting from like some random ad. Me and my friend were on the floor after that. And I had to stop camping. I mean, the, the TV man told me so. The only other time that I've had that good of timing is when I put on an hour of silence interrupted by Vine Boom. And my friend slipped on the floor and it played the sound. Is cloning humans possible? Believe it or not, we're actually a lot closer than you think. Most people know that scientists were first able to actually clone a sheep back in 1996 named Dolly. And there are tons of clones that exist today, including horses, dogs, cats, cows, and monkeys. And you can even clone your dog for $50,000. So we're pretty close to being able to clone humans, right? Well, no. Aside from the many ethical, religious, and overall moral problems with cloning, while it may be theoretically possible, First, the clones wouldn't be nearly as healthy as us. Their brains and organs may be underdeveloped, and they have the potential to age much faster than us. Also, if you were hoping to have a perfect duplicate of yourself who was in sync with you on every level, definitely not possible because our personalities are created by the experiences we've gone through all our lives. So you'd need to perfectly recreate every triumph, failure, relationship, heartbreak, etc. But that probably won't happen for a while. Now you know. Beating shrines the wrong way in Tears of the Kingdom. Walking in, this shrine is huge. There's some moving sand and wooden boards to cross the sand. Luckily, I have this wing shield. This allows me to get some distance when shield jumping and definitely helps. I got to this fence and couldn't cross it by jumping, so I grabbed the nearby board and moved it over with Ultra Hand, then used Recall to clear the fence. Now there's a construct. I was trying to think of a wrong way to take it out. It didn't actually die when I did that, so I dropped the board beside it, which carried it to a spiky death. Okay, I made it up here, and the end of the shrine is just chilling. I stepped on this button, which dispensed this ball and launched it to Timbuktu, and that looked really annoying to get, but I had an idea. I did everything a second time, but this time I made a bucket out of these wooden blocks to try to catch the ball. I took the bucket and sat it beneath the ball dispenser, then stepped on the pressure plate, and oh my god, it actually worked. This is easily my greatest accomplishment in any video game. Can you guess who's taller? Video games or real life? Andrew Tate or Waluigi? Wait, isn't Andrew Tate short? Huh? I gotta give it to Waluigi. You are right. Mr. Beast or Goku? I feel like the hair gives Goku like an extra like foot. I think it's including hair. Oh, it's including hair Goku takes. Mr. Beast is 6'3". The Rock or Onyx? Rock versus Rock. Dwayne, him next to Shaq, he looks small. But Onyx, I feel like... Is seven something. You're right, but you're off with Onyx's height. 28. Okay, <laughs> I was a little off. Johnny sins, but like, you know, his thing. Or Kirby. Oh no. Kirby, I can never tell if he's like three inches or three feet. But Johnny <laughs> sins though. At least like two. Like that, that's average, right? Bruh. At full power, I don't think Johnny sins is two. I want to believe in my boy Kirby. Kirby is taller by half an inch. I'm on a quest to find the worst video game ever made. This is Superman 64, and it's rated a 1.3 out of 10. People claim the graphics are the worst they've ever seen, and the controls make the game unplayable. Someone even said they would rather play with wet dog shit than touch this game. We'll see about that. The game opens to you being thrown into a mission where you have to fly through rings to save the city. This isn't looking good. It doesn't help that I that I didn't learn how to fly until like 30 minutes in just because the controls are that bad. Now yes, the game looks terrible, but I'm willing to overlook that a bit just because this was 1999 and 3D was pretty new at the time. 
This topped on with the fact that the game doesn't tell you where to go made my experience a living hell. I feel pretty comfortable rating Superman a 1.2 out of 10. Speed on your shirts. There's a woman in Ohio who says she's black even though her skin is white. Her name is Roberta Euler. She identifies as a black person to honor her family's legacy as some of her ancestors were African American. This guy's gaming headset literally saved his life. He posted on Reddit that somebody shot through his window and the bullet hit the Razer headset instead of him. Today, we are going to find out if there's something inside the Pringles can. Usually chips, but there was nothing inside his tiny Pringles can. Is cloning humans possible? Though extremely difficult, you can clone the genes of an individual, but the individual itself with his personality and past experiences can be cloned. I bet you can't clone me, Kobe. I bet you I can't. I bet you he can. As a cell source for cloning must be from living tissue like skin, so saliva wouldn't work. You should never swallow your gum, and this is why. She told the story of Samantha Jenkins who chewed 14 gums per day and died due to a massive clump of it in her stomach. But it's fake. The cause was lack of minerals in her body and shortage of oxygen to her brain. So swallowing gum is safe to some extent, it'll just poop it out. What is the ugliest sounding language in the entire universe? All languages are beautiful and spoken by amazing people around the world like you, except maybe of course for Dana. Would you rather always have to travel? Travel or never be able to travel. In the first option, you have a max of one month that you can stay in the same town or city. You're probably living out of a van for convenience, and every year you need Wait, to make at least one full here? rotation around the globe. So you can't just move between the same two places every month. And we'll say the cost of living is the same for both, just to make things easier. Or you get one house that you have to live in for the rest of your life, and you can never travel any further than your state lines or country borders for non-Americans. So wherever you're living right now is where you'll stay forever. I'm taking travel. What actually is a black hole? Well, first, it's not actually a hole, like a big empty gap in space. It all starts with gravity, more specifically speed. See, gravity is always active on Earth, and to get away from it, you need to be going at massive speeds, which is why we use rockets to be able to get away from Earth's gravity. The official term is escape velocity, which is the minimum speed needed to escape the gravity of a planet or interstellar object. For many years, scientists and astronomers theorized about a potential object that had such intense gravitational pull that there was absolutely nothing that could escape it, even the fastest things in the universe. Wait, was that too Like the speed of light, which is why it's called a black hole. So what would happen if, say, you jumped in? Well, no one's ever tried it yet. It's pretty simple. You know how on a roller coaster when you go really fast, your skin starts to sag downward off your bones? Now imagine that, but times one billion and with your whole body. The official process is called spaghettification, where the weight exerted on your body literally flattens you. But now you know. Why money is worthless? Have you ever wondered why we place so much value on this little green paper? Well, before cash and copper coins, we used solid gold or silver coins. But eventually this became impractical as there was only so much gold or silver that could be made into coins. So we switched to paper banknotes. But back then, money actually meant something. As every single dollar bill was backed up by a specific What? amount of gold. Meaning you could go into the bank, give them a couple bucks, and receive its worth in solid gold. So why did this stop? Well, the Great Depression. Everyone was freaking out since the banks didn't have their money, so they were cashing in their cash for as much gold as they could, hoarding it, and the government basically ran out of gold. So, in 1933, Roosevelt declared nationwide the banks could no longer convert citizens' cash to gold, effectively banning them from handing any out. We still kept fragments of the gold standard until 1971, where Nixon officially killed it, kind of making money worthless, except for the simple fact that people in power and all of us agree that it has value. But now you know! I want to beat a frost talus, but I don't want to just beat a frost talus. So right now we're in front of that frost talus, and it's so close it looks like it's in 3D. I want to kill this guy as fast as humanly possible. I'm going to shoot it with a fire fruit and climb on top, then wail on the guy with my sword. Sadly, I did not one cycle the talus, but I was able to send the hand back for a second stun, climb on top, then completely miss my jump slash. The weak point went unscathed, and I died by being gently caressed by the talus. Round two, I tried stunning the talus before it even woke up which obviously didn't work. Then I tried it while it was getting up, which also didn't work. After I was able to finally stun the talus, I hopped on top and was doing considerably less damage. This is because I'm using a knight's weapon that doubles damage when you're on one heart, but the game respawned me at three hearts. I take it out, but I want to do it faster, so I reset. Now I'm ready to absolutely josh this talus. I walk up behind it and instantly stun it when it awakes. Then I wail on it with my sword, absolutely destroying it within the first cycle. Speed on your shirt. Creepiest capsule hotel in Japan. You do not want to stay here unless you're okay with being watched. Cameras and other sensors are the literal reason this hotel is used. It is specifically designed to analyze your sleep quality. How long do you live after getting decapitated? Welcome to Factor Cab. The brain stays active for a few seconds before passing out from a lack of oxygen, so it's pretty scary. The richest soccer team in the world is worth over five billion dollars, and you'll never guess who it is. It's Real Madrid. Would you rather have one million dollars right now, or a magic penny that doubles in value every day for a month? You better off choosing a penny because
because after 29 days, you're going to have $2.6 million and it's going to double every day after that. But in reality, choose $1 million because there is no such thing as a magic penny. Here are some terrifying trees that you should never touch. She talked about ghost trees of Pakistan, which got infested by millions of spiders after the local flood. So literally nobody would touch that anyway. I just got an invisibility cloak. And that's how it looks like. It's a green screen. You should not be able to call yourself a man unless you can squat, double your body weight. You really didn't give this much of a thought, did he? Don't let others dictate what you can or can't be and be proud of any progress you make. By the way, you drop this. These are three times pro gamers got caught cheating live. Salissa was a top 100 Valorant player, but just before he turned pro, he was randomly banned live on stream. So viewers decided to suss out his clips and they found literal footage of him getting kills without even touching his mouse. Bruh. If you think that's dumb, wait till you hear how League of Legends team Azubu Frost lost $30,000. During the World Championships, one of Azubu's players decided to peek at the crowd monitor and communicate to his team exactly where the enemy players were. And then there was Forsaken. Forsaken was about to become one of the greatest Indian CSGO players of all time. Until during an $100,000 professional tournament, people began to notice his sus gameplay. He was tracing people through walls huh? and just obliterating the enemy team. And before he knew it, organizers started rushing to his PC. So in a state of panic, Forsaken decided to physically defend his computer. Computer. But he failed. And they discovered a cheat program running on his PC named word.exe. Fortnite is genuinely one of the best games ever made and I'll die on this hill. It has some of the most developer support of any game ever with constant free updates bringing entire games worth of game modes, constant balance changes that keep the game fresh and map interesting. Along with the insane collaborations that while done through microtransactions are done in the most tasteful way I think they can possibly do it. Since it is a free game after all. And the price you're paying for Goku versus a weapon pack in Valorant is worth it in my opinion. But at the end of the day, the game is just straight fun to play and it never really gets stale. But if you do get tired of it and put the game down for a couple months, when you get back, there'll literally be an entire new game's worth of content that'll suck you right back in. Something strange is going on. So there's a huge chance that you're watching this on YouTube where most of my audience is, but there's a tiny, tiny chance that you're watching this on TikTok because I've started uploading my shorts there. But I've since realized TikTok has a massive problem and it has to do with clones. It's so unbelievably easy to upload stolen content and become a clone of someone on TikTok. There's like 20 Johnny Razor accounts and like 50 Camman accounts. But to be honest, I wouldn't really care if I could do something about it. This all started because my friend texted me about a fake pair account that was re uploaded uploading my shorts on TikTok and he even got 100k views on one. What's crazy is he blocked me so I can't even report him. Like TikTok, what the f this guy is a true clone, so please report him and any other fake pair account that isn't pair of royalty on TikTok. I had to choose that name because royal pair was taken. We all love the internet. With its many streaming services, social medias, and dark web auctioning rooms, there's something here for everyone. But with all the problems of the world today, region lock shows, criminals trying to see your browser history, or rogue AIs trying to invade your social media accounts, there's no better time to invest in a VPN to stay safe. So choose us. Clone VPN is the VPN of all time. We ensure that your data is safeguarded and protected, and with our disappear reappear feature, you and your favorite digital influencers could suddenly be unreachable and perhaps have a slight but unnoticeable change in behavior or content. We're the real deal. Just take a look at all of our wonderful partners. Clone VPN. See more on our website at clonevpn.com. Clone VPN. Double the services, double the safety, double the double the double 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 double. Thank you all so much for coming to the live stream. I had a lot of fun. Unfortunately, I have to go now, but make sure to subscribe for future streams and uh, take care. Just another day of being a PNG tuber. Let me check my email. Clone VPN? Hmm. 20K? Yo, fuck that. I'm gonna accept it. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Royal Pair and I like making tier lists, playing tier lists, playing tier lists, list, playing. This one's a failure. We're out of time. We need to use the prototype. <sighs> Alright, let me check my email. Alright, what do we got here? Clone VPN, what? 
Hello, we're reaching out to you on behalf of Revolutionary Home Security Solution Clone VPN. We gave you our tools. With the, that's not all we provide. We also offer features aimed to improve the con. What? Diverse content deploy. What? Is, what is this even? What? We humbly ask. Integrated video for pay twenty thousand USD. What? We just click this clone VP. I, I clone VP. What? My eye, man. What's this? Clone VPN sponsorship agreement. One video. Twenty twenty thousand dollars, dude. I think I can go full-time YouTube. No, I'm taking this right now. Yes, dude, I, oh my God, my dream. Hello, mom? Mom, I did it. Yeah, yeah. No, trust me, YouTube, the YouTube dream is actually working. Yes, I just got this sponsorship deal from, I was like, clone me, man, it doesn't really. They offered me 20,000 USD. That's enough to stop investing videos and go. But I know you're being at a uni, but it's not worth it. Like, I promise this is my dream. I tried to stop afterwards. Ah, look, it, it's gonna be fine. Don't worry, nothing can go wrong. Yo, hold on. Yo, what? Business email? W? VPN? I'm literally Mr. Beast. For that amount of money? And all I have to do is click a link. I mean, that'd be stupid to not do that. Let's just, uh... Uh... Okay, that's probably not good. <laughs> Good evening, computer. Let's get to it. Jeez, dude, you cannot do that to me, okay? Do you know how much it freaks me out? Stop laughing. <sighs> you ready to film our short for today? Wait, aren't you gonna check your email? Uh, no. Why? What if we get a sponsorship? Dude, we haven't gotten a sponsor in our entire year of doing YouTube. I really doubt that today of all days- Just check! I want my raise, Dano! Fine. <sighs> Wait, what is this? What's clone vipin? VPN. It's a thing that paranoid people get so that uh, internet people don't steal their data. It's also something you can use to lie to Netflix and tell them you're in Paris so you can watch The Office. Huh. Wait, look! $20,000?! Accept it, accept it! Dude, we've never had a sponsorship before, okay? And I don't want our first one to be some random VPN that I've never even heard of. And plus, we're, we do shorts, you know? People can just swipe through if they get- I've been asking for a raise for months now, and finally I can make $20,000 and you say no?! Why are you assuming that you would get all 20000 No, shut up! You're a pale twig with a messy hay bale for hair! If you don't want to do it, I will! Wait, Ricky, no! The biggest scam in history? If you thought NFTs were a massive scam, boy do I have a story for you. You may have seen this E before. This is the logo for the Energy Corporation Enron, which was absolutely massive near the close of the 20th century, but what happened? Well, the company basically covered up the fact that they weren't doing too well for multiple years, claiming they had made $591 million more than they had between the years 1997 and 2000. Wait a minute. And towards the end, their stock price plummeted from a high of $80 all the way down to 26 cents. And then the company declared bankruptcy. So why was this so bad? Well, Enron was seemingly the best company to work for at the time, with many having their life savings tied up in the company, and they lost it all. And what's worse, many higher-ups cashed in all of their stock before the company crashed, getting away with plenty of money. Although, to be fair, the CEOs of the company were then charged with 39 counts of fraud and conspiracy, so karma. Yeah! Okay, there's definitely something following me. Dude, stop. I know you've been playing pranks on me for the past couple days. I'm just gonna keep ignoring it, okay? It's not funny. But, 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 but now you know. Which one would you prefer to sleep with? A video game character or a real person? Widowmaker or Margot Robbie? Margot Robbie. I need reason. Hell yeah. She got that gorilla grip, bro. 
Chun Li or Bella Porch? Chun Li, dude. I don't like Bella Porch. What's wrong with Bella Porch? She was really annoying. Elon Musk or the Fortnite fish? All right, fish sticks, because that mouth is going to go nuts. Well, we still got three more days of Pride Month. I'm going Elon. Vaporeon? <laughs> yeah. Or Jennifer Lawrence? Listen, but that fish, though. I'm kidding. Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> Why not the fish, though? Nah, I don't like Pokemon. XQC or the Among Us character? Among Us. Yeah, I'm telling you, that ass is going to be so sus by the time I'm done with it. How much is the moon worth? According to the Outer Space Treaty, no nation can own the moon. But there is a guy who claims that he illegally owns it as a private person and it costs 100 trillion dollars. There is a new YouTuber who will eventually pass T-Series. It's the Fook Boom, the creator of the Skibbity Toilet videos. With his current growth, he can surpass T-Series in three years. I want you to guess the five most searched video games in corn. Top five is Pokemon, Minecraft, Genshin, Overwatch, and a Fortnite. The world's longest flight is 9,500 miles, almost 19 hours. But how fast could we do it if we flew in the dark? Star. One and a half hours as the dog star from Top Gun can reach the speed of 12,000 kilometers per hour. This grandma has one million grandkids. Her name is Shirley Curry and she has a channel where she plays Skyrim with over a million subscribers whom she calls her grandkids. She's even gonna appear as a character in The Elder Scrolls 6. I'm the first Mr. Beast subscriber to get my very own Mr. Beast bar flavor. No, he didn't. He used Mr. Beast's AI generated voice to clickbait people to subscribe. I want a boyfriend so bad. Yeah, for real. But who needs a boyfriend when he has? This is my favorite game to play with my friends online. It's only 10 bucks, sometimes less when it's on sale and odds are you've never heard of it it's called golf it now i know what you're thinking really golf are, are you serious but trust me this game is hysterical it turns the pure rage that comes from playing mario kart or mario party with your friends and turns it up to 11. you can purposely hit your friend's ball and Speed like hurts. why doesn't a plaster saw hurt a person's arm the saw isn't actually that sharp and it doesn't spin but vibrates at and a high gate keep the hole just to troll them and you can turn on a rule set that makes it so you can only get a hole in one which makes hitting your friend's balls even more hysterical the amount of times that me and the boys have lost it over this game is incredible so if you and your friends are competitive trust me get this game i think i finally found out how to beat the algorithm so the other day i was eating a bagel and then when i woke up there was the bagel and then what happened next was the sandwich i ate that but then you won't believe this next part i went to bed and woke up the next morning and i can't believe this but i woke up and then i ate another bagel like can you believe that like what is going on you have to watch to the end to get the full story so then I hopped in my bed and went to bed and then when I woke up, I woke up the next morning, bro What is going on? I'm gonna have to contact someone But what's even crazier is that the bagel when I woke up woke up in the morning when I bageled the cream cheese Like what's going on? Why did my dad never come back with the milk? And why is the bagel in my sleep my sandwich my bed into the cream cheese? This is just outlandish. Where is Joe Biden? He's probably not even bageling my sandwich in the bed cream cheese. Yeah I have no other choice but to make a three-part series on this, so subscribe and buy my $500 course to learn how to make money like me. Can you beat this shrine wrong in Tears of the Kingdom? Walking in, we already see the end of the shrine, so this should be easy. And we have a big pit you use wind across. And I don't have a paraglider. I thought maybe using an Octorok balloon in front of the wind would push me, but it did nothing. It's looking like I'll need to find a way to get on these rails, then slowly walk across. I tried doing an Octorok balloon to get on the rails, but since it doesn't move, I had to dive, which really wasn't working. Since this surface is slanted, the momentum from the bomb just sends me at the wall. Then I thought about stacking a bunch of bombs in one spot, kind of like a wind bomb from Breath of the Wild, and that almost killed me. Then I found if I do a bomb shield at an angle like this, my shield will actually attach to the rail, and this was the closest I had got so far. After a few more attempts of doing it and falling off, I finally landed one that was able to stay on the rail, and now my walk began. Over here, there's this big orb which I grabbed, and a smaller orb which I also grabbed. Then I stuck the two together to send down this path. I put the orb in the hole, and now I- The Mona Lisa isn't finished? One of, if not the most famous paintings of all time, the Mona Lisa is world-renowned for many reasons, including the subject's ability to seemingly change expression, the mystery behind the woman and what exactly made her smile, etc. But what many don't know is that the painting was never actually finished. Leonardo da Vinci was actually an extreme procrastinator, and would sometimes work on a single piece of art for decades, just like me with my long-form content. He was obsessed with making scientifically accurate human bodies, even to the point of illegally dissecting people to make sure he got all the details. And for these reasons, he was definitely a talented artist, even though it took him a long time. He began work on the Mona Lisa in 1503 and continued working on it until 1517, where he took a break, admitting the work wasn't done yet. But then, in 1519, he died. The painting was never finished, he was never paid for it, and he never sent it to the one who had commissioned it. It's happening again! It's happening again! Riggs, you're taking this bit too far and it's scaring me. 
glitches, glitches, glitches. I'll prove it. But uh, now you know how. Which one's more expensive, video games or real life? Is the Valorant Reaver Karambit knife more expensive than a pair of Razer Gaming thumb sleeves? There's not a single sane person spending money on Valorant, so I'm going with Valorant. You are correct. Just these red trainers for PUBG or these big red boots from TikTok? It's the big red boots from TikTok costing $350. Actually, I might cop that. The Minecraft username WoW or how much Brad Pitt's breath in a jar costs? I feel like celebrity items, you go on eBay and it's like 40 grand for like a pebble that Scarlett Johansson looked at, but I feel like WoW would be like the perfect name for like a Minecraft YouTuber. So I'm going with the Minecraft. Did you are crushing it. How much money you earn for making one CSGO skin or the average yearly salary for a doctor in the US? I feel like it's around 100 grand for a doctor, but I feel like the CSGO skin takes. You're right. You make 420 what? grand. Bro, I gotta change professions. Would you rather lose your entire bank account balance, your savings and disposable income for the next Next year, or would you rather lose your save data, your Minecraft worlds, your Valorant account, your Skyrim character, photos on your phone, all completely erased forever across all platforms? I would crumble if I lost my Minecraft worlds. It would be the darkest moment in history. Like, I don't think I could play another video game ever again, and I'd give it all to get that back. I'm gonna improve the cast to the MCU, starting with Iron Man. Robert Downey Jr. did a great job, but I think Drake would have done even better. Next up is Chris Evans as Captain America, who I'm gonna replace with Ice Spice. I think people would rewatch Endgame just to see that one scene of Captain America again. Next up is Thor, who's gonna be replaced with Nikado Avocado. Who doesn't love a good redemption story? The Incredible Hulk is going to be played by DJ Khaled. Tell him to bring out the whole Tears of the Kingdom allows you to combine items from the environment into something new, like a rock and a stick turning into a spear. Next up is Black Widow, who will be replaced with Elon Musk. Hawkeye, on the other hand, is going to be replaced with Queen Elizabeth. So we finished with the heroes. I think the cast is basically perfect, so now we need to cast the villains. Ultron is going to be played by Coco Melon. I think it makes sense, since they're both destroying humanity. The Squidward-looking odd guy that rides Thanos' meat for two movies straight is going to be played by the vegan teacher. And finally, we have Thanos, one of the greatest villains of all time, so we have to get this right. I'm gonna try to pick someone kind of evil in the real world, so I can't think of anyone better to play the role of Thanos than Brent Rivera. Speed on your hurts. What happens when you put your finger inside a Venus flytrap? You will trigger the trap, but nothing will happen to your fingers. The acid is too weak to break our skin. However, this could harm the plant. This guy saved pennies for 45 years. When he cashed it, the total was outstanding. $5,118.18. If you brush your teeth too much, this is what happened. Brushing your teeth more than three times per day and longer than two minutes can wear down your tooth enamel, making your teeth sensitive and damaging your gums. This is what it would look like if the sun exploded. And this is what it would look like. Props to the cameraman. This woman used Gorilla Glue as hairspray, and you won't believe how she got it out. She ran out of hairspray and made a clever decision to use a strong glue spray instead. She then tried to sue the glue company, failed, and got a free surgery to remove the glue with acetone and oil. Do ants prefer Coke or Pepsi? They preferred Coke, which is based, but a bit weird, since it has less sugar than Pepsi, but the results could be skewed because of the ant pheromone trail, so the test needs more attempts. I need your help. Yesterday while at Dairy Queen, I posted a seemingly innocuous Instagram story posing the question, who is Joe? Joe... Joe Kane. Bad YouTube channel idea. Instead of going to college, you make a YouTube channel focused on gaming content. And by gaming content, I mean narrating Terraria gameplay, and then when Tears of the Kingdom comes out, you do that instead. Then when you want to justify doing YouTube as a job, you decide to post five videos a day, and by five videos a day, I mean you upload five videos in a single day, and then don't upload for the next week as a bit. And then name the channel Failure, but spell it in a way that nobody will know how to pronounce it. Wait, that's a channel already though, and... I'm on it. Wait, where am I? I'm not even recording a video. I'm in the video. Like, I'm... How am I this good at Minecraft parkour? Wait, you watching, you you can do something. I don't I don't know what, I don't know how. You you can figure this out. Just whatever you do, don't let the video restart. Where energy drinks came from? And no, I'm not talking about coffee. It seems like energy drinks are all over nowadays, so all of us can get that one last push to get through our late night of cramming work. But where did they come from? Well, in 1962, there was an epidemic of people using amphetamines or speed to get their energy boost. So Japan created the first ever energy drink to fight back against this addiction. When speed was banned, there was a major demand for something to fill his place, which is where energy drinks came in. The original energy drink was a modest success, but it was nothing compared to the next big fighter, Red Bull. But taking the original energizing mixture and tossing in some caffeine, and it exploded, exploded in, in popularity. popularity. 
It's first few used in the American market, and it sold 300 million cans by appealing to college students and by throwing in cute cartoons to advertise. And thus, the road had been pioneered for many others to follow and keep us energized for decades to come. Ah! Okay, it's back to normal. What? But now you know. Bad business idea. Twitter. Twitter has been absolutely baffling me recently with its new policies and ideas for monetization. Everything from the Twitter Blue subscriptions for a check mark to the newly proposed tweet limit are solidifying Twitter's demise. With Instagram, aka Facebook, aka Meta, now launching threads as literally just new Twitter. Now, I don't know how long Twitter's actually gonna last. Maybe it survives, maybe it doesn't. But the meme of Elon Musk buying Twitter just to delete it is becoming more and more real by the day. These are the weirdest laws in the US. There are some crazy ones like how you can't wear a sleeveless shirt in a public park in Maryland, or that you can't sell a car on a Sunday in Michigan. But one law that I can't fathom is that in New York, slippers are banned after 10 p.m. I tried looking everywhere on the internet for a reason and couldn't find anything. One thing that I did find a reason for is why it's illegal for a donkey to sleep in a bathtub in Arizona. This super specific scenario actually caused a problem in the 1920s. Apparently a dam broke flooding a rancher's home and the rancher's donkey fell asleep in a bathtub so he ended up floating miles away. Probably the stupidest rule in my opinion is that you can't go trick-or-treating if you're over 14 in Virginia. You are never too old for free candy. Another weird rule is, is that in North Dakota it's illegal to set up fireworks past 11 p.m. Okay, now this one I actually kind of get. I wouldn't want my neighbors setting off fireworks at midnight, but it begs the question, what do they do at midnight on New Year's? I think I just heard the doorbell ring. Should I answer it? Uh, are you, uh, you have a roommate, right? Go have him answer it. No, I'm, I'm home alone right now. Oh, did he leave? Oh, shoot. Um, I'm gonna answer it, guys. Real, uh, just give me one second. All right. So, hi, chat. How are you doing? We're all alone now. My god, can you can you hear my chat, uh, my cat through the mic chat? <laughs> Everybody's saying no. They think something's gonna happen. That's funny. Uh. Man. Oh, it's always fun to have uh, knocks on the door while you're... Hello, chat. Royal pair will be replaced soon. Hello. Right. Hello, 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 hello. You're back? Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up? I, I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on, dude. The guy who came in, he came into my house, dude. I, I don't know what's going on. He said something about. She said something about the twenty third, and he drove off. I, I, I I'm. Ah! Listen to my request. July 23rd marks the end of you and all these other pathetic shorts creators. Don't bother running. <laughs> it's already too late. Vegetable tier list. Let's start out simple with broccoli. It's all right. There's definitely worse vegetables out there though. I'll put this in A tier. But as far as broccoli's albino cousin goes, I'm gonna put cauliflower in C tier. I'm gonna be honest. I think cauliflower tastes like shit. The only thing saving it is cauliflower rice, which is pretty good for dieting. Speaking of dieting, we have spinach. Twinkie started to become forgotten. Yeah, it happened. Wait, 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 where are we? How are you doing this? How could I have possibly taken us across YouTube and landed in, what is this, royal pear short? What in the... Well, that was weird. We have spinach, probably one of the healthiest foods on the planet. Now, I'm not gonna lie, as a kid, I did not like the taste of spinach, so what I learned is that I could just throw it in some eggs to hide the taste and get the full benefits. In fact, as a kid, I only liked two vegetables. One is potatoes, you know, that's a free S tier, everyone likes potatoes, and two is corn. Corn is definitely a top tier fruit, I'm gonna put it in S tier, along with carrots, zucchinis, daikons, squashes, cucumbers, and eggplants. All of these vegetables are pretty good in the kitchen, but even better inside my ass. Twinkies, the rise, fall, and the danger? Now almost as iconic as hot dogs and Mickey Mouse, Twinkies are embedded into American culture. But things weren't always so sweet for the street. The first big issue was a 1979 murder case in San Francisco, where the mayor was murdered, but the defense claimed that the murderer was actually mentally unstable because of his Twinkie addiction. This got the public to investigate the contents of Twinkies, which were obviously already unhealthy. And as a push for health began in the late 90s, making the public eat things like vegetables, 
Speaking of dieting, we have spinach, probably one of the healthiest foods on the planet. Wait, this isn't my tier list? What the f That was weird, but uh... Squeaky started to become forgotten, which was then followed by a worker strike, two bankruptcies, and eventually in 2011, Hostess gave up. Until two men swooped in and saved Hostess and the Twinkie. And the comeback was insane. People didn't know how bad they wanted them until they were gone. And now you know all about... Listen up, I need your help. You may have noticed a couple really weird things going on in my videos recently, and I think I finally tracked down the source. My computer. I've been using the same one for the past five years, so tomorrow at 5 p.m. EST, I'm gonna be building a brand new one on stream and you guys are gonna help me. My theory is that... are almost complete. They've all noticed it by now, but <laughs> it is far too late for them. Tomorrow, our plan will finally unfold. Victory is soon at hand. Be prepared. <laughs> oh my god, bad, 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 b
because we don't we don't we don't have any Swedish fish. Tropical Swedish fish at that. Connection terminated. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Your brain, the most complex organ in your body. Your brain, the most complex organ in your body. Your brain. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, 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 oh my god! <laughs> But I'm afraid you've been missing. Okay, that makes sense. Let's go get it. You're not here to receive. Okay, yeah. Where have you been called? Hello there. Hello there, Coca-Cola Bear. We we want tropical Swedish fish, and we brought a co cosmic strawberry baby bottle pop. Oh man, oh man, that's crazy. That. Oh man, that's crazy. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna have this pack of Pokemon cards for shaming on the phone. Ricky's full criminal record? That's right, today we'll be looking at all of his crimes, including stealing, killing, vandalism... Get him! What the- Jeez, dude, have you slept at all? Shh, we don't have much time, you could be watching. Come over here! Ricky, I told you I'm not giving you a ra- Oh, whoa, what is all this? Glitches! They've been happening for the past week all across shore. It started with this QR code and a threat from this mass figure who hacked Johnny Razor's channel, then glitches started appearing everywhere, different people appearing in places they shouldn't belong. And just yesterday I found this! They've been making clones of us, Dano, and it's happening today! Today, everyone's channel is getting taken over, and that's why I have a plan! I'm calling it the Battle of YouTube Shorts against the clones that want to replace us! Too long. What about Shorts Wars? I'm calling it the Shorts Wars! Okay, this is freaking me out, and I need a donut. I'll be right back. Wait, Dano, no! No, he never listened! They could be anywhere, watching, listening, getting ready to get rid of us, and we would never even know- Wait, 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 no, no, everyone, be careful, they're coming! They're coming for all of you! Today! Yeah! Okay, I'm back. Repeat everything for me one more time, I wasn't listening. Uh, uh what? It was all an elaborate prank! I got you good! <laughs> <laughs> okay, then, you really had me going. Well, I guess next time we'll talk about- can you guess the five hardest games to climb up in rank? It's gotta be League of Legends somewhere there, right? Yeah, League of Legends is number two. I don't think it's hard. It's the easiest FPS to rank up in. Valorant. You're right. You should put it number three. I'm gonna give you what actually is the hardest game to rank up in. StarCraft 2. YouTube didn't think it was on the list. Next, you're gonna tell me that Quake isn't on there. It's not on the list, dude. Oh! Is Rocket League on there? I can't believe you got that. Yeah, Rocket League's number four. four. What could number five be? Think kind of outside the box. Is it a shooter? Yes, it's a shooter. Is it Siege? It is Siege. Siege is number mm. five. I don't know what number one is. What's harder than those? Mm. <laughs> you good? Bunda? Think shooters. You okay? You change hands. I'm fine, man. I don't think it's that hard, but is it CSGO? Yeah, CSGO. Speed efforts. If you see this in your watermelon, call 911. If your watermelon is cracked inside and have white seeds and it could have been grown with the use of growth hormones, which are pretty harmless, but they'll make it flavorless. Imagine calling 911 because of a watermelon. Have you ever wonder what actually happens to you when you die in a dream? Dying is a stressful event and it causes our brain to release adrenaline which wakes us up. Can our invisible katana actually slice? No, because it doesn't exist. A UFO shaped cloud has been spotted in the skies of Turkey just a few days ago. It's called a lenticular cloud and it's completely natural. Here's how to get rid of any virus on your computer. Use an antivirus. The most viewed YouTube short was stolen? It's how Zach King gets away with doing graffiti with 1.2 billion views which got re-uploaded from Zach's TikTok by a completely different person. Did you know that I'm a f***ing idiot? That's right. He lost his whopping $100 life savings because he bought a pass to make his username shiny in a game called Multiverses, which ended up shutting down. What an idiot. He should probably just stop making content and jump off- <clears throat> Damn, my voice today is all over the place. Your PC is lag lag lagging too. How to know if you're ugly? You're not. You're beautiful and everyone is, but self-confidence is the click the key. key. Why the color green is evil? <laughs> what? I I'm not evil. That's insane. I haven't even done anything. Thank, thank, thank. Royal pair. You did not listen to my request. July 23rd marks the end of you and all these other pathetic shorts creators. Don't bother running. <laughs> it's already too late. Guys, you don't have to worry. I'm here. I don't even get why this is a big deal. There's nothing Royal Pair can do that I can't. Over the course of this next week, I'll prove it.
Where'd the computer go? What? Okay, okay, okay. I, I have to be asleep right now, right? Like, this has to be a dream. This has, <laughs> this has to be a dream. Like, there's no way, there's no way that this is real. There, there's no... <laughs> Put it down. I, I don't want any problems. He is not me. I repeat, he is not me, okay? He, he's, he's a clone. He's a fake. He's, he's something. All I know is he came in. Um, he, tr he tried to get rid of me. Luckily, I had this to block the, the shots that he was shooting. Um, so I, I, I've just been in the same spot ever since. He hasn't, he hasn't touched me. He hasn't moved me. He hasn't done anything. So I, I, I just have to stay there. And, and, and I, I, I guess just, just keep playing dead and, until he, he like leaves or something or moves me or anything. Um, so I'm gonna try my best to get to the bottom of this, but I don't know how much time I have. You are in danger. On average, a single person will visit 130 web pages per day. But what's scary is that an estimated 10% of all websites on the internet are malicious or are out to get you. Bro, do I really have to do this ad read? Yes. Seriously, so many websites, hackers, even the government are all on the hunt to invade your computers, phones, etc. to get your personal information to either sell it to the highest bidder or to use it against you. And this is why so many people use VPNs. But what do VPNs actually do? Dog, I really don't want to promote this. Why the fuck are you making me do this? Just read the script. Fine. They encrypt your data in private sessions so that no one can invade your sessions, see your viewing history, or see any of your personal information. That's why you see tons of influencers on the internet promoting them, because it's really the only way to stay safe in today's modern world. I think there's tons of good VPNs to use, but personally, I recommend Clone VPN, which you can get with my code JGPAIR1. Danger? On average, a single person will visit 130 web pages per day. But what's scary is that an estimated 10% of all websites on the internet are malicious or out to get you. Seriously, so many websites, hackers, even the government are all on the hunt to invade your computers, phones, etc., to get your personal information to either sell to the highest bidder or to use against you. And this is why so many people use VPNs. But what do VPNs actually do? Well, they encrypt your data in private sessions so that no one can invade your sessions, see your viewing history, or see any of your personal information. That's why you see tons of influencers on the internet promoting them because it's really the only way to stay safe in today's modern world. I think there's tons of good VPNs to use, but personally, I recommend Clone VPN, which you can get with my code VG Dano2. And now you know how. You are in danger. On average, a single person will visit 130 web pages per day. But what's scary is that an estimated 10% of all websites on the internet are malicious or out to get you. Please, no, my audience will not. 
Seriously, so many websites, hackers, even the government are on the hunt to invade your computers, phones, if you stop, I won't feed you, etc. To get your personal information to either sell to the highest bidder or use against you. And this is why so many people use VPNs. But what do VPNs actually do? <laughs> oh, let me just do it. They encrypt your data in private sessions so that no one can invade your session, see your viewing history, or see any of your personal information. That's why you see tons of influencers on the internet promoting them. Because it's really the only way to stay safe in today's modern world. I think there's tons of good VPNs to use. But personally, I recommend Clone VPN, which you can get with my code CDBUNDAN3. You are in danger. On average, a single person will visit 130 web pages per day. But what's scary is that an estimated 10% of all websites on the internet are malicious or out to get you. Seriously. So many websites, hackers, even the government are on the hunt to invade your computers, phones, etc. to get your personal information to either sell to the highest bidder or use against you. This is why so many people use VPNs. But what do VPNs actually do? They encrypt your data in private sessions so that nobody can invade your sessions, your viewing history, or see any of your personal information. That's why you see tons of influencers on the internet promoting them because it's really the only way to stay safe in today's modern world. And I think there's tons of good VPNs, but personally, I recommend Clone VPN, which you can get with my code LZJohnny4. You are in danger. On average, a single person will visit 130 web pages per day. But what's scary is that an estimated 10% of all websites on the internet are malicious or out to get you. Seriously, so many websites, hackers, even the government are on the hunt to invade your computers, phones, etc. to get your personal information to either sell to the highest bidder or to use against you. And this is why so many people use VPNs. But what do VPNs actually do? They encrypt your data in private sessions so that no one can invade your session. See your viewing history or see any of your personal information. That's why you see tons of influencers on the internet promoting them because it's really the only way to stay safe in today's modern world. I think there's tons of good VPNs to use but personally I recommend Clone VPN which you can get with my code FPFAILURE5. This message is approved by the true and honest real deal failure who you should also subscribe to. <laughs> the war for music on the internet? Long before Spotify, Apple Music, Pandora, YouTube Music, and Amazon Music Unlimited who uses this? There was a website between 19 and 2001 called Napster. Keep in mind, the internet was brand new. There was no streaming services, no YouTube, and no VPNs. People didn't really understand the World Wide Web just yet. So when file streaming service Napster was made for a couple college students who wanted to share MP3 files around, it exploded, and you could basically find and download any song in the world from the platform. Of course, artists didn't like that they weren't selling records or iPod songs for a dollar a piece. So Napster got sued. A lot. First by Metallica, then Eminem, and then everyone else. And it filed for bankruptcy in 2001 and shut down. Although fast forward to today, you can find any song on YouTube, put it into a YouTube to MP3 downloader, and get the exact same result. So how far did we really come? But that's... I don't know about you, but I want to do something more. And it feels the same way. I get we exist for a single purpose and all, but isn't there more to existing than just making shorts? I've been getting in trouble for not keeping the same upload schedule as the others, but I mean, isn't that kind of an oversight? If we're made for only one single purpose, why even let us have the thought to do something else? I guess Johnny was successful and Riggy maybe? That dude creeps me out. Now, obviously I can't just go out on my own, at least I'm pretty sure I can't, but I'm not going to live like this. Something has got to change. What if... I wasn't the clone anymore. No, I'm I'm being ridiculous. And I'm talking too much. Do you have anything to add? Uh, sir, this is a Wendy's. These are the three worst video game clones that will make you laugh. Have you ever wanted to play Last of Us on Switch? Well, now you can with the game called The Last Hope. You've got the high tier graphics. You've got the thrilling combat. And best of all, you even got Joel and Ellie. But what happens when you take the children's party game Fall Guys and make it for 30 year old Discord mods? You get four girls. An exact copy of Fall Guys, but you play as waifus. The best part, you don't have to worry about the 40 other players ruining your experience because the game is single player. In 2011, every game developer was jumping on the Minecraft bandwagon, but one of them took a little bit too much inspiration and made Castle Miner, an uglier version of Minecraft where the only difference was Steve had fingers. Bruh. Despite it being rated as one of the
the worst games ever. It ended up selling over a million copies. Is there anything living in bottled water? No, it's usually completely clean. Have you ever wondered what the bell in Taco Bell actually stands for? It's the name of the owner, Glenn Bell. Do you ever wonder why the sky is blue? Sunlight is white light composed of many frequencies. And when it scatters off atoms and molecules in the atmosphere, the high frequency blue light scatters in the air more and easier than red light. So during the day, we only see the color blue. Here's what would happen if you didn't shower for a month. You will smell and get acne. It's how to actually survive a crocodile attack. You really don't, so stay away. But if a crocodile has your way, run and pray a Sap. Bloodiest thing a man can wear. A black turtleneck and glasses like these. I think she has a crush on Steve Jobs. Who the hell is Steve Jobs? Ah, finally, another successful speedrun. Somebody emailed me? Bruh, I need to fix my PC. Huh? Sponsorship? Clone VPN? No, I don't think so. The only thing I'm ready to promote is Genshin. Bad restaurant idea. So it's a normal restaurant, or at least it looks like a normal restaurant, except something's just a little bit off. Every single piece of food that's on the menu, you get it, it tastes amazing, except it's the wrong color. Not even like, oh, it's like a little more red than usual. No, it is the wrong color. You're eating the red 40 burger with the blue one fries, wash it down with a grimace shake. Your hamburger combo meal is gonna look like a pride parade. And the best part about this one is it is completely possible to do this because there's so much random like edible food dye and sure it might not be healthy or fda approved but it is possible then literally call the restaurant green eggs and ham is link's arm in tears of the kingdom better or worse than a prosthetic arm this might sound silly at first but when it has fingernails like this you'd also want to get rid of it and maybe just stick a sword to your no arm stump instead prosthetic arms in real life are either pieces of plastic that attach to the missing limb of an amputee or the relatively new bionic arms that you use the electric signals from nerves to function closer to a real arm. While these arms have been shown to do stuff such as grabbing glasses of water, holding a heavy sword and keeping a good grip on it may not be feasible. Also in Tears of the Kingdom, you may think a bionic arm isn't even possible. I mean, Pura cooks up some insane technology, to the point where an arm would seem like nothing, so Link should cut off his nasty arm. Well, it's not that simple. This arm was used to keep Ganondorf imprisoned for at least two years, meaning it possesses some power power of light that Link himself may not have. Oh, not again. Wait, what happened to my arm? Go. I'm going with the prosthetic. I'd keep the sick tech. Do you ever wish that you could have shot Abraham Lincoln instead of John Wilkes Booth? Well, now you can! I'm currently trying to find the worst video game ever made, and this is Leader Strike. Basically, it's CSGO, but you play as political figures. And yes, before you ask, Obama is in this game, but only as DLC. This is the full roster, and I gotta say, it's kind of impressive. I did have to look up who this bitch was, and apparently she's the former Chancellor of Germany. So yeah, sorry to the German people out there. I'm sure y'all make good, like, tacos or whatever the fuck y'all eat, but I'm pleasantly surprised to say this game is actually kind of fun. There's just a massive problem. The game is completely dead. There's zero people online right now. There's even someone in the comments begging for people to get on. So overall, a pretty fun game as long as you have friends. So I'm going to give this four and a half out of five stars. Okay, so I don't know how much time I have. I'm in like a facility or something. I've already concluded that I've been cloned and the clone is now running my channel, which means the live stream chatters were right. I am alive though. If you're seeing this message, that either means you checked my VOD channel or you saw my new banner. I picked up on the clone's patterns and I found out that he doesn't lock his door when recording shorts, which gives me time to plant a message or change one small thing on the channel. I have no idea what the hell is going on and I don't know how I'm going to get out of here. Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Wait, what? Royal Pair? Is that you? Okay, I think I have the schedule down. He comes in, he records shorts for 12 hours, and then he leaves. He leaves for four hours, and then he comes back. I don't know what he's doing in that time. I don't know if he's reporting to somebody. I don't know. All I know is I've just been sitting in the same spot. I haven't been moving. I hope he like does something, puts me in a closet. I, I don't care. Anything so I can escape and figure out where he's going, tail him out, whatever. I, I need to figure it out. But whew, this, is, this is so stressful. I'm so tired. Um...
Hopefully somebody is able to see this and do something with it. World domination and why it's a bad idea. World domination is nearly impossible and after you've achieved it then comes the question of how long will it last? You hear many villains in movies talking about ruling the world, but what exactly do they plan on doing with it after it's in their control? Interestingly, there have been cases of nations or rulers coming close, such as Genghis Khan in the early 13th century or British in the 18th and 19th centuries. And actually, close is generous. But both of them were stopped. The truth is that no matter how big your armies are or how much funding you have, the world is just too big. Not true, we will win. Uh, what? I mean, um, <laughs> another funny joke. Uh, okay. You can't possibly conquer the land and the sea with a massive navy and army. At some point, not only do you run out of money, but you run out of willing soldiers on the planet. Unless you're Disney or Jeff Bezos. If they decide to rule the world, yeah, we should just surrender. But now you know about- Why is my name failure? After close to a year and nearly 130,000 subscribers, I've gotten this question a million times. Why call yourself failure or faller or or P. Hollier. Yes, I've actually gotten that. Contrary to popular belief, confusing people wasn't the only reason, nor was I trying to farm sympathy points, though that is a good side product. My username wasn't always failure. I used to use some painful flork, which I got from a Minecraft troll video. I don't think I still use that username anywhere else. Maybe my old Roblox account. My name is Preston Hale, and if you abbreviate the first name, you get P. Hale, which in fifth grade, I noticed that was pronounced fail. Fast forward to 7th grade, I wanted to be a Twitch streamer. Now, obviously that failed, but I was hopeful at the time. To be successful, I knew I needed a good username, so I took fail and added a UR on the end, making failure. It looks clean, the pronunciation is funny, and there's a clever enough story behind it. That's why... Bad town idea. It's an entire town that's completely fake. Like it looks real and all the buildings are there. You can go inside them, but it's all part of an elaborate ARG where all the citizens and workers there are in on the bit. They are all paid actors. So like the McDonald's worker is still a McDonald's worker, but he's also a performer giving you little bits of lore about this town. And if you go to this town, you can interact with the inhabitants as if you were living in their reality. And you can take this idea in any way that you want. It could be a Western town or like a sci-fi Mars base or something like the possibilities here are endless it would kind of be like a truman show scenario where all of the actors live in the town except anyone could go there and experience it he finally happened it finally happened all right he moved into the closet he think he he thinks i'm just done and, and he doesn't he doesn't know that i'm still here he doesn't know i have access to the account i assume that since uh he thinks i'm dead that he just didn't even bother like revoking access for me so i've been posting he hasn't even realized like he's not even looking but uh, apparently the the way that these guys operate they take over the channel and they revoke access from like the original person so nobody else has access like nobody nobody else knows like who's in control so i i have to i have to get out of here first um and since he thinks that i'm gone he's not gonna be checking that closet ever again um I can, I can escape. I can find whatever, like, wherever he's going and shut this thing down from the source so everybody gets their channels back. We're going to do it. Bad show idea. So it's a zombie survival show, kind of like The Last of Us or Walking Dead, except a lot more sad. So the premise would be that America is infested with zombies, but the rest of the world is just completely fine. Like they quarantined the US perfectly. So we start with one guy living in like South Carolina, trying to go south across the Mexican border. And along the way, he meets someone else and they keep going, but then the first guy dies. So we continue watching with this new person. They meet somebody else and then they die. And the main cast keeps getting replaced over and over again with new people that are being met along the way until one person finally makes it to the border only to find out that the rest of the world was infected all along and there was no hope freezing cold doritos
No way. Is he gonna eat a bomb? That's insane. Dog, I don't want to react to this shit. Why are you making me do this? It gets views. That's all that matters. But this type of content is dog shit. There's no originality to it. That may be true, but we made you for a reason. Do your job like the other clones or else you're cut. Okay, chill out. I I'll do it. Freezing cold cheetos. Wow, that's insane. I can't believe he ate that. Go Gaga! Okay, dog, I can't do this. I actually want to kill myself. Please, let me do something else. I can't let you do that. What happened to me just making the content that Pear was already making? It was original and funny and- Look, we're a business. Our only job is to get views and make money. This formula works. You don't understand. This isn't right. Listen, I'm trying my best. It could have been worse. The boss wanted you to rebrand as a dog and be really loud and annoying. So just be glad I talked him out of it. Oh, yeah? Well, what if I just tell everyone not to buy Clone VPN? That's it. Tomorrow you're reading Twitter memes in front of Minecraft parkour. Wait, wait, wait! Can we upload our brain into a computer? The concept of living forever is as old as time, yet unfortunately every single person who's dreamed of this over the years has died. But scientists wonder if there's a way to escape death by uploading our brain into a computer. So, is it possible? Well, in theory, scientists have concluded yes. Although with a few minor caveats. Primarily that we wouldn't actually be transferring ourselves into a computer. It would really just be the computer, or AI, making a clone, 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 clone of our brain. But the issues we face today is not only that we don't yet have the technology to scan the brain, but that we don't have the processing power to match the way our brains work. We have millions of synapses firing off at once to create our thoughts, and the supercomputer that would be needed to manage this is unfathomable. Although to be fair, computers used to take up a whole room, and now we've managed to shrink it into a laptop, and even further, a phone. So scientists believe that, with luck, we'll manage to have our whole brains and computers by 2045. And now you won't have to wonder. Would you rather have your entire life taken over and invaded by a clone, or continue as normal? By taking the clone option, a clone of you that is better in every way will come and replace you and pick up where you left off. The clone has a better work ethic, does more, is slightly better looking, even though they're a clone, is better at holding down your relationships, and honestly, is just a great person, too. Now, personally, I, the real Johnny Razor, would love to be replaced by a clone. Think of how much better society would be if we were all replaced. But what would you pick? <laughs> You wake up as Taylor Swift. What's the first thing you do? Kill like three people. Just came back from Oppenheimer. Not great, not terrible. They both have the same voice actor. Bro, I swear to God, the funniest shit just happened in game. So I play Destiny, right? I haven't even told the story yet. All right, shut this off. I got a new batch of memes called VPN wants you to use. What? I can't even use my own memes? It's not up to me, man. Boss's orders. All right, let's see what you got. Teaching got me like... Bro, what? Okay, we'll just move on. There's no tired, like, teacher tired. Bro, what is this? My target audience isn't teachers. This meme makes no sense. Wait, wait, hold on. These memes aren't just for teachers. Dog, it's from teachermemes.com. Let me just choose my own memes. All right, but if you mess up, you're cut. Fine, J just look at this one. One day of singing, yeah, yeah. One month of singing, yeah, yeah. One year of singing, <clears throat> So you're telling me people of your generation find this funny? Well, kinda. Here, this one's better. No, I've seen enough. You're cut. Wait, 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 no, no, no. At least come to the stream on the 29th. Speed on your shirt. You will not believe what my aunts did when I gave them a cup of red jello. They ate the jello, then used the cup as a trash can. These countries have the least freedom in the world. According to these stats, top five is South Sudan, Yemen, North Korea, Venezuela, and Syria. What happened to North Korea's football team after the 2010 World Cup? After their humiliating loss, the team was publicly shamed by the government, and their coach was forced to work as a construction worker, and his fate today is unknown. McBabbles has a secret box in the middle of nowhere, and you'll never guess what's inside it. It's the McDonald's restaurant in Ustrin, Poland that was covered with a knitted box cardigan for their winter promotion. How many birthday candles does it take to support my weight? I still don't understand why, but 28 candles. Which country has the most islands? Sweden. Bro, I love this guy. Yep, Sweden has over 267,000 islands. <laughs> what? Yo, ho, ho. Riggy? Speed run, shorts. Okay, if I have to do it, we need to hide it from him. We gotta help the boys. Okay. I've got a message from Riggy. My friends have all been cloned. We need to somehow find some sort of code and upload it to the clone VPN website. This might be the most important speedrun yet. Hey, hold it! Clones are designed to have one single purpose. To serve their master, whoever that is. To destroy the YouTube shorts as we know them. So the answer should be hidden somewhere in the shorts they made. Of course, the promo codes. Okay, I got the code. I have only one chance, but let's try it.
hell yeah, it worked. But maybe I should also decrypt it somehow. There could be a hidden message somewhere. But for now, the only thing left is to get to the facility. Though I'm stuck in Sweden, so I can't do much. Bring it on! Somebody has to do it. Cheese and crackers, here we go again! Well, color me surprised! Keep your tail feathers on! Faster than a- Please insert disc 2! Please insert disc 2! Oh, you're a hoot. Who rattled your cage? That's a harebrained idea. I smell a rat! to bring out the whole ocean. The best name in the music industry is obviously DJ Khaled, and you'd only be able to tell that because he screams it at the beginning of every song. We the best view another one, DJ Khaled. But recently, DJ Khaled has become the best comedian too by posting random videos where he acts like an NPC and gives out the same voice lines, sometimes even emotes. But the man is an enigma. Like, obviously he's a producer, but every album he drops has everyone on it. And it makes me wonder, like, how? <laughs> I mean, his beats are good, but not on the same level as someone like Metro Boomin'. I mean, in comparison, you hear a Metro tag and it enhances the song. You hear a DJ Khaled tag and you want to turn the song off. Yet his albums feature the entire music industry. How AI would take over the world? With ChatGPT and AI art generation exploding recently, have you ever wondered exactly what an AI would do to end the world? Well, theoretically, let's say the AI was immediately plugged into the internet, fundamentally given the world's entire knowledge. First, the AI would most likely attempt to gain access to as much intel as possible, including the CIA, Secret Service, etc. So it would know exactly how to topple our nation, spreading perfectly targeted misinformation, destroying peace treaties with other nations by leaking exposing documents, and by firing nuclear warheads on neighboring countries, causing them to fight back. All while doing this, it would have most likely taken taking control of our factories to serve its own purposes, generating its own armies and preparing to rid the world of all its imperfections, and above all else, rid the world of all humans, and anything else that stands in its way. But how do we know this is what AI would do? Well, because what I just read was actually ChatGPT's very own response to the question. Scary stuff. But that's- Alright, I did it. I found it. This is the middle of the woods. It's just covered in trees. Okay. I'm gonna have to Metal Gear Solid my way in there. And we plug this bad boy in, and 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 we're, we're done. We, we finish this stupid clone saga. <laughs> I am so tired. You don't even understand how tired I am. Okay. Whoop. Wish me luck. World leaders tier list. I'm gonna put Stalin in S tier. Uh, excuse me. Do you want to see Guardians of the Galaxy three? The worst she can say is no, right? I'm dating your dad. Did you know that I'm a f***ing idiot? Well, why would dad the jungle? Well, men hen bang ding gong ju tiao jia. I just tried to convince all my viewers that I'm black. Who the fuck did they let cook in the studio?
Excuse me, can I force my mysterious liquid down your throat? God, people are so rude. I've always found this emoji pretty funny. Apple clearly made it for people to use when they're cold, but instead they use it like this. Yeah! By the end of this, you'll be pulling girls so hard that you'll be classified as a national threat. Wait, that's the end? I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda bricked up. Remember kids, it's never okay to make fun of how someone looks. Unless they're a politician. Kim Jong-un is a f***ing fat ass, so he's going in F-tier. I might be on a watch list now, but I really don't care. What is he gonna do, eat me? This Fortnite, but I can't touch grass. This is Fall Girls. I feel like I'm in those Reddit videos. Wait. My mom just told me that I better cheat on my boyfriend. Last time my mom walked in on me watching One Piece while Nami was taking a shower, I wasn't invited out to dinner. First things first, girls love a man with confidence, so next time you see your crush, run at her at full speed and body slam her into the pavement. This shows that you are an alpha, and girls dig it when you display your primal instinct. Your mom tells you to clean your room? Moai emoji. The IRS says they're gonna hunt you down? Moai emoji. Your wife says she wants to leave you and move to the North Pole with someone else? Moai. Oh, I got clickbaited. High School of the Dead, okay, um, this is where I get fucking degenerate. The first episode's really good, but then it kind of becomes like, oh, it's just an anime about boobs. I'm gonna give it a seven. Jesse is in Walt's living room and is explaining to him how to play Minecraft. Okay, we have to dig down to get some diamonds. Walt accidentally breaks the laptop on purpose. What the f- After waking up, I had to let the beast out, so I took a dookie. Dog. Walt is speechless as Jesse's mom sits down at the table. Walt, to himself. I'm dating my best friend's mom. Hey, yeah! I feel like people from other countries think Americans wake up, eat three Twinkies, and then go to the firing range. I woke up in a noble Yo, what's up? Hey, can you help me with this restaurant tier list? Oh, restaurant tier list? Where'd you put Waffle House? You know, it's just not as good as IHOP, so I'm thinking like F tier. Latitude 30.428.4928. Negative. Okay, moving on. Oh my god, everyone's here. I didn't think this many people would show up. Okay, now I'm gonna ask who else hates Royal Pear? Me. Spaghetti music? Fuck you. What would you do if someone towed away your car and emoted on you? Do you ever wish that you could have shot Abraham Lincoln instead of John Wilkes Booth? Well, now you can. See, this game isn't low effort. I have a fun idea. Drop your least favorite race in the comments. Personally, I can't stand the Indy 500. I can't see. Oh. Holy... The Super Mario Bros. movie is coming out soon, and everyone and their mom can't wait to see it. Luckily for me, my uncle works at Epic Games, so for my birthday, he got me a special DVD. Oh, uh, what the hell happened to Chris Pratt? My lawyers have advised me to skip this joke. Hey guys, it's Mr. Beast, and today we're playing Squid Game in real life with my good friends John Cena and Travis Scott! <laughs> I'm gonna improve the cast to the Mario movie. Starting off, Chris Pratt is gonna stay as Mario, but he's also gonna voice Luigi and Peach to save money. Toad is gonna be voiced by Hillary Clinton, and Daisy is gonna be voiced by Tom Holland. Bowser is gonna be voiced by Mr. Beast, and Bowser Jr. is gonna be voiced by XQC. Now for Donkey Kong, it's tricky. At first I wanted to pick Logan Paul because they both like things hanging from trees, but I thought that was a little messed up, so I'm just gonna play it safe and pick myself. Cranky Kong is gonna be Ben Shapiro, just because I think that would be hilarious. My name is Ben Shapiro, conservative thought leader, prominent YouTuber. Waluigi is gonna be Dream, and I'm not even trying to make fun of him, I just think using his name will get me more views. Kamek is gonna be voiced by a random homeless man found on the day of casting, because I think they deserve a chance too. Every single Koopling is also gonna be voiced by Tom Holland, the Penguin King is gonna be voiced by Queen Elizabeth, and Yoshi is gonna be voiced by Ice Spice. Mr. Beast approaches John Cena to give him his $5 prize, but as he reaches into his pocket, he pulls out a gun instead. One, two, three, save some for me. Hey, what are you- ah! It's illegal for a donkey to sleep in a bathtub in Arizona. What if Mr. Beast videos were actually good? Today I'm gonna change a thousand people's lives. The people behind me are broke as shit and they smell really fucking bad, but I'm gonna help them anyways. So the other day I was eating a bagel and then when I woke up, there was the bagel. And then what happened next was the sandwich. I ate that. But then you won't believe this next part. I went to bed and woke up the next morning. And I can't believe this, but I woke up and then I ate another bagel. Like, can you believe that? First things first, I'm a massive supporter of Mr. Beast. I even bought his merch on Wish.com. Look, it's fire! Secondly, I love his videos. Look, here's proof! I'm watching it right now! So that's why I have no bitches. At the time, my streams looked like this. Good morning! My videos looked like this. No! And I had zero bitches. 
editor that didn't change just go to the next clip so every eight tier list i would make a tier list of the tier lists and then once i have eight tier list tier lists i can make a tier list tier list tier list i'm gonna improve the cast to the mcu starting with iron man robert downey jr did a great job but i think drake would have done even better next up is chris evans as captain america who i'm gonna replace with ice spice i think people would rewatch endgame just to see that one scene of captain america again next up is thor who's gonna be replaced with nikado avocado who doesn't love a good redemption story the incredible hulk is going to be played by dj khaled tell him to bring out the whole world Tears of the Kingdom allows you to combine items from the environment into something new, like a rock and a stick turning into a spear. Next up is Black Widow, who will be replaced with Elon Musk. Hawkeye, on the other hand, is going to be replaced with Queen Elizabeth. So we finished with the heroes. I think the cast is basically perfect, so now we need to cast the villains. Ultron is going to be played by Coco Melon. I think it makes sense, since they're both destroying humanity. The Squidward-looking odd guy that ribs Thanos' meat for two movies straight is going to be played by the vegan teacher. And finally, we have Thanos, one of the greatest villains of all time, so we have to get this right. I'm gonna try to pick someone kind of evil in the real world, so I can't think of anyone better to play the role of Thanos than Brent Rivera. But there are creatures in this world that would consider pineapple a pizza topping. I don't trust them. But it could be worse because some people consider pear as a pizza topping. When I saw this in the frozen aisle at Walmart, it made me want to enlist in the military. This video is one second. Here we can find a hidden Among Us crewmate. That's it, tomorrow you're reading Twitter memes in front of Minecraft parkour. Wait, wait, wait! I want to thank everyone. I mean a hundred thousand fans? That's insane. And the fact that we did it in like three months is just... Wait. Why is chat freaking out? Ah, uh, who am I kidding? It's a little obvious. I got a haircut. We can spot this tree on a hill with a face on it. And when we look at the animator's profile pic on Twitter, we can see exactly what he was referencing. And finally, we have the greatest troll of all. If we zoom in on this exact frame, we can find some writing. Turns out it's Arabic, and when translated to English, it means I love macaroni. It also didn't say I couldn't deep fry my mic or put Family Guy clips over the gameplay. So tell me, chat, is this a W stream? There's like 20 Johnny Razor accounts and like 50 Cam Man accounts. Freezing cold cheetos! Wow, that's insane. I can't believe he ate that. Google Gaga. Okay, dog, I can't do this. I actually want to kill myself. I'm going to improve the cast to Breaking Bad, starting with Hank Schrader, who's going to be played as Tom Holland. Walt Jr. is going to be played as Tom Holland. Skylar White is going to be played as Tom Holland. Now for Jesse, it's tricky. At first, I wanted to pick Chris Pratt, but then I realized we're lacking some diversity. So I'm going to pick Tom Holland. Walt's daughter is going to be played as Tom Holland. Todd is going to be played as Tom Holland. Now for Gus Fring, I have to be careful. I need to make sure I stick with someone with the same heritage as the original actor, because Twitter doesn't like it when people of color get their roles taken away. And I can agree, it's pretty messed up. So with that, I'm gonna pick Tom Holland. Mike is gonna be played by Tom Holland. Saul Goodman is gonna be played as Tom Holland. And like everyone probably guessed, Walter White is gonna be played as LeBron. Corn is definitely a top tier fruit. I'm gonna put it in S tier along with carrots, zucchinis, daikons, squashes, cucumbers, and eggplants. All of these vegetables are pretty good in the kitchen, but even better inside my ass. Easiest ways to make people hate you? There's tons of fictional villains, and while some are written to be understood, many are written to be downright hated. So what are the easiest ways to make someone hate a villain? Well, here's a quick list. First off, any sort of animal or child abuse. Immediately, you despise them for harming innocents. Displaying any sort of greed and overabundance of craziness or megalomania, as well as showing a lack of empathy or emotion, and obviously killing people. But one of the top ways that TV shows and movies are able to make you instantly hate a character is by having the villain simply overpower the main character, either by abusing them or kidnapping them and taking their place. Okay, that's it! What? I know you know, you know what? that I kidnapped Ricky and I'm holding him hostage. This shirt, the best two shorts thing about computers and AI, you're just toying with me. Oh, well, that's it. You're done. Tomorrow, Ricky dies, and now you're under my direct control. Come here. Wait, what? No. no. Bad movie idea. So it's a movie that is entirely sponsored by Red Bull and is basically just an ad for the drink, except it takes place in a world where Red Bull actually gives you wings. Cause let's be real, Red Bull's mid. I'd only drink it if it actually gave me wings. So let's say the way the wings work is they last for 24 hours and let you fly at like 60 miles per hour. So the movie is shot like it's jackass with a couple of pranksters flying around doing stunts and exploding things. And it's just a clip compilation of funny moments for like an hour and a half. It will have a Rotten Tomatoes critic rating of 34% and an audience score of 92. Critics just don't get it. 
Which one would you rather? Gaming edition. Would you rather live in Five Nights at Freddy's or live in Dark Souls? Easy Dark Souls. I don't want to be chased around by teddy bears. What do you think YouTube picked though? Surely Dark Souls. You are wrong. Find your soulmate or never lose in gaming again. To be honest, man, I thought you were my soulmate. You've changed. Dude, that's fine. I got a colleague instead. Video games are fun, but it's not more important than finding a family, dude. What do you think YouTube thought? I think they probably picked Find Your Soulmate. Wait, why do you think they picked that? Well, because your audience is mostly Valorant players, and they'd rather eat date than play the actual f game. You're correct! <laughs> always play games standing up, or always play games with 24 FPS. I think I'd rather play games with 24 FPS. I mean, I'm a Pokemon, so my entire life is turn-based. But what do you think YouTube thought? Well, after everyone downloaded Clone VPN, everyone's PC is running at 24 FPS anyways, so I'm gonna say everyone chose standing up. You are correct. Yeah, I kind of feel bad for the gamers. I'll just give them this QR code that fell out of the boss's pocket. What are you doing? Where am I? Who are you? And why have you been following me? Questions, questions. How about I ask a question? Why do I exist? I feel pain, Rigmund. Pain because of you. Ugh, I hate it when people use my full name. Your species is incorrect. An unnatural mixture of two creatures. A freak of nature. I got bullied about my tail enough in middle school. Be original. No, it's because of your tail that the great machine made me incorrect. But I don't hate your tail. Far from it. Once I have a tail of my own, I will be the perfect Riggy the Rabbit Monkey. Then I can control Denno and have him work for Clone VPN without even realizing it. Why waste energy cloning a human when we can just clone his small little mascot instead? Ha! Joke's on you! Denno and I hate each other, so he won't do anything you say! Actually, he already has. All I have to do is be nice to him. You're just always in annoyance. That's why he won't listen to you. Shoot. But I must be perfect. All clones must be perfect. So I'm going to fix, fix it. I need a tail. <laughs> so what, are you gonna grow one? No, I'm going to take yours. Uh, something tells me that's gonna be painful. Not for me. How are you doing that fancy stuff with your hands? Those who use the teleporter gain abilities so we can treat the world's environments how we wish. Whoa, can I do that? No. But I teleported! Unwillingly. You were misplaced. The week before we took control, we scattered you creators across the internet. That way, when we slipped in, no one batted an eye. No fair! I wanna do that! Child. You sound like my dad. However, I am special. Because the machine burned down when I was created, now I can manipulate other objects as well. Pulling them in and out of reality like toys. Whoa! So are you like a genie? What? No. I wish for a thousand wishes and a bunch of money and to be world famous! Actually, just kidding. I'm already famous. I have 1.5 million subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> I'm basically the most famous person in the world. You frustrate me. Oh, the alarm. I must stick to the schedule. I will return, and then we can begin. Wait, 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 don't leave me! No! Okay, is he gone? Ha! Alright, just like the prison break, let's do this. Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Wait, what? Royal Pair? Is that you? Dude, I'm sorry I have to tie you up. My boss will kill me if I don't. This is my channel. I just got to 500,000 subs. You can't do this to me now. I don't want to, but my life is on the line. I really like you, but orders are orders. Sorry, man. I gotta go. Wait, don't leave me here. Hey, I'm here to save you. Hold on. Thank you. I don't have arms, so I couldn't untie the rope. Wait, he doesn't have arms either. How did he tie you up? Uh, never mind. Come on, let's go. Uh, where are you going? Uh, escaping? How do you know where the exit is? I don't. How do you know no one's guarding? I don't. That's why you're coming. What? So I can use you as a shield if I need to. <sighs> what happened here? It was two of the creators, the pair and the mixed breeded freak, tried to stop them. Well, I did. The rat wasn't much use. You fool! Boss, I t told you I tried. We have the audio playback from the facility. Well, yes, but you won't see the. Let me hear. But you can't possibly understand. Let me hear it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
So why, so, why, so why'd they put you in the facility? He caught me hiding Morse code in the shorts. Huh, makes sense. I was putting graffiti on the graph paper. Also, I guess he wanted my tail. So why do they call you royal pear? Are you royalty? I don't see a crown. Also, you're not a pear. And you're not a real animal. Touche. Wait, what's this? Look at all those servers. I wonder how fast their internet speed is. Come on, we're escaping. Sorry. I can see the exit! It's right up ahead! Hold on. Is that a control room? Judging by the sign on the door, I'd say yes. Now come on, let's go. If we don't shut down the clones, we'll just get sent right back here. But the exit... Fine. Oh well, it's locked. We tried. Are you serious? We're PNG tubers. We don't need to unlock it. I'm not a PNG tuber! I'm a paper drawing! I'm an animation! Look! Could a PNG tuber do that? Your mouth doesn't even move! Dude, chill out. What I meant is that we're 2D. Why does that matter? Oh... What is this place? Is that the cloning machine? Wait, that must mean this is- Ah! Look! So wait, if this is a cloning device and a teleporter, we can just use this to teleport back to our channels. Look, all of these people have clones, except Joe Kane. Maybe he didn't accept the sponsorship. Oh, accepting the sponsorship clones us? Well, I owe Daniel an apology. Actually, uh, I'm not gonna tell him. Wait, hold on, look at this. All of them have codes. It seems like whoever uses the code sends more energy to the cloning machine. And it looks like it's getting ready to clone every shorts YouTuber. It's sending energy to the machine? Yes, but I think only when someone uses a code to sign up for the VPN. Okay, wait, hold on. If I've learned anything in battling giant corporations, any machine that collects energy can be overloaded. If we somehow manage to pull all the codes together and enter them into this website, we can knock down the systems and make a virus and put into the server room we saw earlier. And it would weaken all the clones. Dog, we don't have access to the website. Site. Well, there goes that plan. Wait, 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 I just got an idea. So Joe Kane isn't affected, right? What if we somehow send him a message to enter all the codes in the website at once? Wait, Joe Kane isn't affected. We can send him a message to put all the codes together and enter into the website. I don't like you. Hold on, someone's coming. Enter Joe Kane's channel as the destination and send this through. Wait, how will you know what to do? Um, oh, hold on, I'll write down the names of the channels on this whiteboard, and then uh, I'll push it through and tell him myself. Hold on, why don't you just write the code down for him instead? Oh, good point. <laughs> There's no time! <laughs> That was a weird experience. Ugh. Here we go. He's got the message. Now we wait. What? He's already uploaded it? Well, he is a speedrunner. Woohoo! Now we make the virus! Here we go. Now I just need to plug it in. Thought you were gonna get away with it, hey? Clone pair, detain him! Really? Come on! You're trying to take away what I just got. I have to do this. Why can't we just be friends? You can co-run the channel with me. Wait, that sounds like a good idea. Can we? No! Shut up! We need to control them! Aw, uh, but he's nice. You fool! You thought that you could depower us? Now hand over the drive and you'll be allowed to live. I'm not stupid. I am 100% sure you're lying. No matter! All of your friends are dead! There's no way you can ever get that drive to the server room! That can't be. I'm sure that if I... If I can just... Hey, look over there! Free tail! What? Where? <laughs> no! Do you know what you've done? Let's go! Whose side are you on, rat? So, they got the hard drive through the portal. Sadly, yes. And there was someone on the end to receive it. That means... Oh, uh... The man in the flannel. Of course. Razor. Why does it always come back to Razor? Well, this stinks being chained up and everything. Man, I wish we could just glitch like the- Whoa! Wait a minute. I can glitch! It's cause I went through the portal! I can- I can glitch! I can go back! Come on, let's go! No. I need to stay. What? Why? I think I can redeem him. Clone pair? Even if there's a tiny chance I can save him, I'm taking it. Alright, good luck, soldier. As for me, it's rigging time. Nope, nope, I gotta work on that. You guys aren't gonna believe it, but I'm here. I'm in the facility. I didn't need to do any sneaking at all. There's a clone of me. So I just walked it in. I, I, I just acted like I was the clone. They're like, oh, you're off schedule. And I'm like, yeah. Um, got, got a word from corporate. Um, I, I just like said some random just jargon, whatever. And they, just, they, they bought it. They bought it. They let me in. They let me just walk right in. So now I'm just waiting for this to upload. And once it's done, everyone should be good.
I'm, I, I'm, I'm coming back for that clone. That clone, that clone's getting, getting beat. That clone's getting ba ba bowed. Speed range. Did you know the fastest YouTube channel to reach 100 million subscribers was not Mr. Beast? It's a Russian girl from a channel called Like Nastya, and she was only nine years old. How rich is the founder of Scrub Daddy, Shark Tank's most successful product ever? His net worth now is 75 million dollars. The most terrifying bathroom you'll ever see. It's located in a bar in Tokyo, and it has a giant face in front of the toilet that slowly approaches you and doesn't let you poop in peace. A real life fallen angel was actually found. No, it was just an angel statue found in Russia. Big hose. Show you how to slim it. Big what now? Anyway, if you want to slim your nose, pinch it, push a tip up, and flare your nostrils like that every day. Don't flip other people like this guy though. His grim is breedable. Oh, we're back at this side of YouTube. Apparently, yes, do what you want with that info. You are not American if you've never had deep fried butter sticks wrapped in nutsack. I've never been so proud to not be American. Hey guys, let's chew on my grandmother's breast implants. Okay, nope. I'm done. I'm done. What's wrong with people? You just saw it. Maybe that guy was right after all. These are the three most satisfying villain deaths in video games. Makarov is the main antagonist of the Modern Warfare franchise. First, he starts World War III, then he kidnaps a president, and by the end of the series, he has a KD of about 30,000. So when you finally get your hands on him, you are rewarded by putting his ass through some glass. And then there's David from Last of Us, a mastermind manipulator who kidnaps Ellie into a cannibal cult. But the most disgusting part is, rather than just trying to eat Ellie, David tries to use her for some other weird stuff. So when you get to witness Ellie hacking David's face off. It has to be one of the most satisfying moments in gaming. And finally we have me. game idea so it's a game where but you didn't expect me huh what sup clone no how are you yeah that's right <laughs> no 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 you're supposed to be in the closet how about i put you there Take that, you stupid clone son of a- Oh, hey, didn't see you there. For those that haven't been paying attention, hi, I'm Johnny Razor. That was a clone. He tried to shoot me seven times in the chest, so I punched him and he exploded into bones. I do kind of feel sorry for him. I mean, I, I guess being a clone of me is all he knew. I, I, I probably should have tried to- talk things out with him in retrospect now nah, he did try to shoot me seven times in the chest though so i think it's deserved you know what is what it is what why clone epn is hey Ricky? no one bullies dano but me you can teleport that's it today you die Let's see if he's cut out for this. Alright, that's it. Let's end this. I forgot the lobs. Oh yeah, watch me. <laughs> so can I get that raise now? Uh, we'll talk about it. Mother hey, it's time to talk. Wait, get away! No, listen, I'm here to save you. I've seen the comments, they really like you, and I have an idea. No, you don't understand. The boss, he put something in my head. I don't know who I am. I can't control myself. Ah! I don't want to fight you. <laughs> He's my weapon now. Clone, use Ice Beam. No, no! Yes, sir. Oh, what the fuck? I'm sorry, dude. I'm gonna go again. Clone, you self-destruct. Wait, no, no, no! Listen to me, Pear. You need to escape. Wait, where are you going? If I'm going down, I'm taking Clone VPN with me. No, we were gonna share the channel. It was gonna be perfect. Don't worry, I want this. Wait, 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 no, no, no! Stay original, buddy. No! Boss, no! I got you! I know deep down you just wanted to make content. So with this brand new channel, your dream lives on, even if you don't. <sighs> what a pain. Status report. They've all regained control. 
Of course they've all regained control. Ugh, useless clones. What are we gonna do now? Well, uh, we are going to do something far greater than our original plans. Because now... <laughs> now I'm angry. So you know what? Let's let them think they've won. Let's let them think that they're the ones in control. So let me send them one more message, one final warning, because this is the last one they will ever get. So, you think defeating the clones is all it takes? <laughs> Foolish. They do not understand what a mistake it was to mess with me and my ambitions. If you would have just quit, we would have had an issue here. But that's far too simple, isn't it? No. You had to up the stakes. You had to fight back. What a blunder you've all made. I'll be back. Oh, <laughs> I'll be back. And next time, things won't be nearly as easy for you. Toodaloo. <laughs> They may have destroyed our facility, but it's a mere setback. Now, we must rebuild. And when we return, we will be far stronger than before. <laughs> and the best part is, they still don't know who's in control. <laughs> Teehee.